Hello and welcome to the Atlas Cup for BCS in 2022. We're back with a brand new team we have not seen yet. Savannah and the home team favorites, Tropic. Tropic looking to get their first dub. They're trying to remove the bags from their head. We'll see if maybe they can get the dub today against this brand new team, Savannah, led by Tumbleweed. Yeah, it's 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 been a nightmarish start here for uh, the team of Cheese Master. Uh, you know, usually they're always gunning for that third place, you know, sort of spot. But you know, everyone's kind of been feeling that this cup's a little bit different. You got a debut goalkeeper in Penley. You've got Egg on Striker this time around, and you've got Cheese Master. I mean, leading the charge here with a uh, with the addition of Dumb Matt, who has a lot of experience and is also a very expensive player this cup. You'd expect a few results here, but at the moment it has been all for naught. A very hot and dry. Um, cup so far for Tropics, but you know, you can kind of assume that their start will come up soon and maybe Savannah is the opponent that they need to get their uh, themselves underway. Yep, and it's not like Tropics can't do it. During the pre-cup scrims, they were on a roll and they beat every single one of the teams at least once. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing, right? Like, they've... They've scrimmed it. They, they, they've got the knowledge scrim-wise. They understand how these teams might play. But I don't think that, you know, scrims directly translate into game day. I mean, you have comms, you know, that are much more cleaner. You have much more determination on the end of both squads. Um, scrims aren't always a guarantee of how results will go. You know, if that's the truth, then Tropics should have won all of their games so far. But, you know, it's Blockland soccer. It's unpredictable. Yep, very unpredictable. Once you finally get on those under those lights and onto the pitch the pressure starts hitting different you're not really too uh worried and probably won't be making such crazy mistakes during scrims but it can start to add up the pressure especially when you start getting down and tropics they have been down yeah and i mean you have a lot of new players or players that you know haven't been adjusted to the starting lineup sort of position i mean of course egg and penley and that can kind of play into your nerves a little bit. And that's the question mark, right? Is it, is it, are these two players that we haven't seen start too many times before, are they going to be the answer for the team? Or is it going to have to be yet another cup carried by Cheesemaster and Jeet or at the helm? It can't be like this. All five players of your team have to be active at all times. And that's, this, that's where the most success comes from in the current teams that are getting victories. I mean, if you look at Polar, all the starting players have some sort of role in the roster that and they're actually you know they're understanding what they're doing i don't know if this is like i don't want to put this pin you know pin this on the captain here but you definitely got to make sure that your players are in check whenever that game day actually comes for sure and we're looking for a little bit of a better performance from penley we expected him to be himley but he was not being himley in the last two games <laughs> yeah Well, seems like stream has ha is having some technical difficulties. We'll be right back as we resolve these issues uh, very shortly. Is <laughs> all good, Alan? All right, are we? Are we live? I, I think we're live. I think we're good. Okay. Hey, we're back. Um, game one should be starting soon. Uh, if you're not of the know, I believe Savannah is playing two games today. I could be absolutely positively incorrect about this because I am not very smart. Tropics uh, play Savannah, Savannah Summit. Then, yeah, Savannah Summit. That's what I was going for. So after this, we will have Savannah playing yet another game, another double header. Um, and usually what comes with those is that, you know, if you win the first game or lose the first game, you expect the same result. It's kind of a mental thing. Um, and obviously, Tropics have played a doubleheader before. They lost one game and they lost the next. So this could just be, you know, completely a different story here for Savannah. Maybe they aren't a team that relies too heavily on their mental fortitude. But we'll have to wait and see. Doubleheaders are always tough to play. No matter if you win or if you lose, you're always exhausted by the end. Yep. And this is a very interesting lineup for Tumbleweed to be leading. No Zero and Fire Demon in the front, usually who don't take too much of a top-level position on their teams. 
but no zero and fire demon are going to be seeing a lot of action. You always can trust Snarbalax, though. A very reliable defensive force. Oh, for sure. I mean, it's just that consistency, right? He doesn't have to be consistently amazing. He doesn't have to be the most incredible player in the world. It's the consistency. That is what makes Snarbalax a very potent force. It's just the fact that when you need him, he's there. He's a very reliable player. So is Louie, probably one of the best goalkeepers that we have so far this entire cup. Um, the goalkeeping game has become very, very different nowadays. I mean, you know, you don't have, like standard well-established goalkeepers nowadays i'd say the only established goalkeeper that you might have is louis and you can make an argument of course for t-bone who has goal kept before in the past but i mean mel and muna are also very strong forces but stuff has true. really changed now with the the no small box rule oh yeah so sure. if you didn't know previously the smaller box right where the goalkeepers stand you were not allowed to shoot inside of that, but that was removed, and now you can walk up right next to the goal and shoot. The only rule yeah. is that you just can't walk the ball in. This obviously changes a lot, not only just for the goalkeeper, but it's also for the defenders and for everyone rotating back. You have to be much more aware. You can't force people off to the sides anymore like you used to be able to do. You have to contest them head-on at some points in order to make a play happen. Yeah, there's a lot more space you have to watch for as a defender so it just makes your job that much harder savannah already uh making a little bit of a mistake on the tip in tip advantage thrown away immediately but regardless line up here for tropics i mean you got cheese master egg jeet lore uh kind of le leading a three attack charge here as a good block from starbalax will regain possession here for savannah albeit almost very close into the hands of sav but Got Penley on the back and Dumbat as well to support him as the defender here. Now let's see how hold, how those defenders can hold off as Tumble and Fire are looking to make a break here, but they cannot. Yeah, it looks like Tumble and Savannah are going to be a very pass-heavy offense. Tumble, not really uh, honestly known for being a, a very ISO-heavy player. Very happy to keep passing it back and forth to, and get his teammates involved. And that really stretches out the floor and makes it much easier for your offensive forces to get around. Yeah, it's a good middle ground to have there, quite literally, because it just allows for the rest of your team to be enabled. And, you know, you kind of have your core striker uh, ability, and then you have somebody that's just able to make all those happen and make all those plays work. But maybe this one, White, oh, it's, it's a tough one. Fire Demon cannot pick up on it. That that was a good setup, though. Tumbleweed, That that's really the job you want to do as a primary ball handler. You want to get some of the defenders, at least two defenders on top of you, and that opens up the ability to pass to one of your teammates. At least to get them a 1v1 situation. Sure. Uh, free kick uh, now. We've got a egg being scrambled on the field. He has been cracked <laughs> open. Oh, oh Tumble, you're receiving two cards. <laughs> I, I thought it was Tumble, but it might not have been him. Uh, there, there was another person involved in that play. <laughs> One of our refs just fell through the map. All right. Already off to a great start. Tumbleweed over to Fire Demon, trying to snipe it in the corner. Dumbat not able to receive on that. No zeroes inside of the box there, but Penley snatches it up. Ooh, big play from Penley. That would have almost certainly been a goal if that went through to no, no zero. Yeah, Tropic's still alive and breathing. They had a little bit of a rough start, but now here they are bombs it down to the left side of the small box and louis is there to collect regardless a goal kick as he doesn't actually touch it whatsoever now savannah who are a very defensive minded team and you know they're very passive in the way that they play are going to have to find a goal here now the one thing that you can rely on is fire demon is always going to be deep in the box of tropics he is going to be present at all times ready to collect a pass here tumble unfortunately will get stolen from that'll be a corner kick now for savannah to make a second chance but whenever you have a play style like that, where you have someone, you know, kind of being a cherry picker and the rest of your players playing off, obviously the downside is that if you just cover that player, your attack is basically shut down. Right. And honestly, they were a little bit close together for my liking, Fire Demon and No Zero, making it easier on the defense uh, to cover both of them at the same time with less defenders. Now Tropic's going to be on the offense. Snipe over to Jeetlor. Does not receive Tumbleweed. Again, card. Third time getting his card. <laughs> and uh, he is, he is uh, very, very mad about this right now. He's getting a yellow that he does not believe he deserves. 
That's that. We'll that's have that to privilege. We'll have to look back into the the archives to see if that is true. <laughs> Tumbleweed, possible break here, but good good defense there. Good steal and a good recovery from Tropics. Now having two players up front, actually. His egg is up. That cherry-picking play style has been very annoying for some defenders to actually deal with here, but Tropics, or sorry, Savannah, again, they rotate very quickly, and their defense is always usually set up four people in the box. Will that cherry-picking style actually end up working out, or is it just a scrim tactic? Yep, she's trying to get some work done here, but uh, Savannah is just on top of these jump passes, uh, very much anticipating where these Tropic players are going to go and just stopping them in midair. Because once you're in the in midair, there's not really much uh, air maneuverability you have, so it's very easy to just go and block it just in midair. Yeah, every every aerial attack is a yes or no question. Do I want to pass or do I want to shoot? And a lot of those times that you know kills flexibility for any players. But flexible tropics is not at the moment as No Zero is putting up a solid defense now. Savannah going to rotate back, and you've got Cheesemaster and Egg open in the middle, but they're being clamped right now by Savannah players. No Zero will clear it out. It is a throw in here for the side of Tropics. Oh, I believe Louis has crashed. It looks like Louis has crashed out of the game he's still standing there but he may have just uh been dead that entire time <laughs> posting up hall of fame defense without even moving could you believe it yep oh and he his player model moved oh he i'm gonna may or may not a, be back that was probably an alt tab it happens yeah he's back oh, and it looks like he's all right now Throw in here for Tropics. Potentially could restart the momentum as they're... Where's the... Where's Egg? Why would he all tab? Where's Egg? Uh, where is Egg? Oh, Egg fell out of the field. Oh my god. Is, these players gotta realize there's a very short uh, distance they can run outside of the map <laughs> and then they fall into the void. What is what is Egg doing that far outside? The, just stare the pitch! <laughs> yeah, honestly, I'm not sure what he was doing. Trying to receive a pass outside the field. Oh, that's a callback. That's a callback to Jeet Lore 2017 when he hid behind one of the one of the environments outside of the map and then jumped behind the goal. <laughs> I actually I actually have never seen it, but it's it could just be legend. But regardless, Savannah now on their start. No zero is open to the right, and so is Tumbleweed. The triangulated positioning here on the side of Savannah might have just worked out there, but it's a good clamp there on the side of Tropics. Still in the small box. That is the important part. Get it out. Egg will clear it over to Snarbalax. Goodness, but again, that, that's the scariest possession. part. You you really have no guarantee of possession when you get that steal in the small box. Any number of players could steal it from you. Even your own teammates could take it from you in the scramble of trying to keep possession. <laughs> it's usually just a panic, and you got to just hope and pray that a ball doesn't just come flying into the back net. But Tumbleweed covered by Cheese Master looking for anything. It's a steal in the corner. And that's the hard part. You usually can very easily get a big pass up but unless you have a player ready and waiting out in the midfield, the other team's defender is just going to get that ball back and it's just going to reset the offense for the other team. Big pass up by Cheese. But Cheat Lore, he's looking for Cheat Lore, but he wasn't quite there in time. Up to no zero. Completely clear, free of charge, and that's a bomb to Tumbleweed. Quite the risk as it's a one versus two, but he does get it. Tumbleweed could possibly show his flexibility and give Savannah their first goal of the cup, but it's covered there by Tropics up in the air as there it is. Yet another mosh pit looking to be a possible goal here to steal back and forth. It's recovered there. Dumbass oh, getting stolen stole from by his own Ellie. goalkeeper. No way. Tropics still cannot get rid of this ball as Savannah clamping on top of Dumbass right now. It's not Ooh. cleared. Savannah still have a chance. There's no way. Tumbleweed looking for a pass to Nozier. No. Nozier doesn't receive. Personal mistake after personal mistake! What just happened? Wow, that almost 100%. That's, that's again, Savannah are getting some really good opportunities, but they just can't get that last pass in. And in those last pass situations, you have to just receive it immediately. You have no time to make a mistake. God, what a sequence of events there. But yeah, you're absolutely right. And I think they that maybe egg. Tropics, g -Lore has the ball, but it's stolen. It's been a very defense-heavy game so far. We're halfway through the first half, and no goals have been scored. This first goal is going to be a big momentum shift for whatever team gets it. 
as it's just been honestly tropic has not really gotten many uh shot opportunities i don't know if they've really gotten one at this point i don't think so i haven't seen louis active at all he hasn't gloved anything he hasn't tried to save he's been pretty much free here snarblax and co working very hard on the defense but unfortunately you just, you just mess up sometimes and that's Jesus a snack gotta get this up g lore is open to the right or sorry to the left of snarblax it's a pass over to g lord it's a late pass but it's a good the ball shot. the captain puts it in eight minutes and 30 seconds in finally a goal and it goes to tropics wow and that was a great sequence of events from uh Huh? What? What's happening? Everybody just stopped. <laughs> oh, and Tumbleweed, the the classic ref, always complaining that people are not waiting for the whistle, and he did not. And he in did fact, not wait, wait for, the for the whistle. <laughs> and that's just classic. Bimble Sneed, of course. But, but that was a great fast break play from Cheese, and oh, yeah. really doing what you need to do. When you have that break, it's better to just get the attention of the defense to open up the pass lane for your other teammate in that two on two situation. That's exactly what you have to do. Yeah. And tropics are 10, you know, they're, they're very constantly a slow moving team. You know, they want to set up good attacks, but sometimes you just got to go in a situation exactly like this, but Snarblox does snag. And I think that that's the thing about cheese masters team is that they understand that well enough to where they can just make big plays whenever they need to egg accidentally grabbing the ball. As he clears it out, Jeetler not going to be able to receive that one. Egg was, <laughs> Egg was typing at that exact moment he got the ball. I really don't think he was expecting to get it. <laughs> the Egg has been scrambled. No zero. Covered by two players. Needs to make a pass, but Cheesemaster clamps it well. Good positioning there from the side of Tropics. I mean, they understand what they need to do very, very well. That's the thing. The Tropics can be inconsistent sometimes. I mean, Jeetler and Egg. Egg's got a lane. Sometimes they don't receive passes, but this one could be different. And a cheese that's looking good, but it's a little bit too far out. Oh, oh, looking for the long shot, but it did not go in. It was the the defenders were much close enough, much too close for it to even possibly go in. Still possession is tropics, but I mean, you got three people covering, four people now covering. Cheatlor is optionless at the moment. Cheese Master inside big box has three players to pass to, but all of them are covered at this point. Anyone inside the box crazy Quite pass that was like a flick pass but he was a little bit too high on the aim it would have gone pretty much straight to egg straight big, to big Savannah. body block what by cheese master holy g lord picked up on that quite well and cheese master egg is open hurry, hurry egg is open right behind them this is this this is potential there's so much potential on this shot here cheese master just takes it himself though oh was that in he that, no i was that definitely that not in Inserts the Infinity Stone, says, fine, I'll do it myself, and doesn't look for a pass but a shot. It is no good, though. And now Savannah looking to respond again. Down 1-0. They need to make a play happen here. It's all them now. No zero. Typically, your striker playing a little bit more reserved on this position. Tumbleweed wide open. So, same with Fire Demon. But Egg, Big beautiful steal. skill there. Now running it down the field. Both of the players are behind him. He can get this to Jeet. Good setup. But Jeet doesn't have any jets, but he gets it to Cheese. Woo! Great shot attempt by Tropic. And this is really, even when those shots don't go in, it's such a, a boost to your morale and uh, definitely puts a lot more pressure on Louie at this moment, who hasn't really done much until the end of this first half. Definitely was a beautiful save there from Louie, but the fact of the matter is, is that that shouldn't have happened regardless. He should not have been put in that situation. Header there <clears> by Tumble, received by Louie. Not even worried about it as Louie knows. Experience plays a big key into this cup, and Louie has been very, very phenomenal and very consistent on his goalkeeping. Yeah, only the only the most effective of shots are really going to go through on him. Jeez, when he got that shot, he aimed just, just barely close to Louie, and that gave him all the time he needed. Body block not good there, though, from Snarblax. Cheese Master still has possession. However, he is just getting sp he's getting cracked apart right now inside of the net as all four members collapse on top of him. Dumbat over to Jeetlor, though, looking for any sort of pass at the moment. Jeetlor, yeah, the not able to receive. The Master going from a sharp cheddar to a very stinky blue cheese at this moment. <laughs> yeah, not a, not a phenomenal second half to this half, but... 
I mean, he has been he has been catching the passes he needs to to catch, but just not able to finish on that last opportunity, which would really make Tropic feel good going into the second half. Jeez, I mean, they're has a break. they're absolutely playing amazing defense so far. No cracks in their offense so far. You saw how Snarblax was up and he was driving it down the field. And I was paying attention to that just a little bit because Savannah had a player behind him. No zero was playing back in case anything happened. Good save there from Louie. And it's just the fact that he's able to rotate back in time. If anything bad were to happen, gives a guarantee to Savannah that they can drive their Uh attack forward. Fire Demon, no. I've seen that from Fire quite a lot. Not being able to receive passes and that that's one of them. Yeah, those are very dangerous passes out as uh, a goalkeeper. You have to receive those because if they bounce once, you're not really going to be able to grab Double. it again. What a save. Wow. Wow, big save from Louie. But Cheesemaster, he's kind of feeling it at this point. He's He's putting up shots. Tropic, they up. need to keep control of the situation, it's though. It's a three. three on two. Fire Demon Good coverage from Cheese. No zero is open as well. If they can just get it to Nose, it might go in. It's snagged there from Penley. Oh, big this snap is, from him. This is rough here. Savannah just cannot seem to find any chance, any opportunity. And when they do, it just goes horribly wrong. However, No Zero Uh-oh. picking up a missed pass there to Egg. Tumbleweed is up, but he's got two between them. Cheese Master will just cut that ball in half. As he snags it. G yeah. now looking for something. Egg is open though. Egg is open. Starblacks is the only one left to cover Egg. It's back over to Cheese Big Master. Pass. The passing play. It's so good and it's a snipe. Oh and it's my in. goodness. Right on top of the head of Louie. He's a really good goalkeeper, but sometimes there's just situations where it is impossible. Wow. Yeah, that was just that was just Cheese taking control of the situation and Really, got to give it to Egg. That was a phenomenal pass, keeping the play going. It's exactly what you need in that situation, but G-Lore is wide open. Away! And that's another score! Right on the, on the sunrise of extra time. 15 seconds in, Tropics have put up two goals. And we've got Penley dropping the toxicity in chat. Very classic. You, you expect this from an acquaintance of Ubix, the two toxic brothers. Oh, no. Tumbleweed, oh, that could have been it. That's a GK, I think. Why is it in his... Uh, Penley, he's got an animation glitch. Uh, uh, I'm not know. sure. I don't think he... He can't do that. If he realized, he uh, he can't do that. It's a it's a goal kick. He can't do that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> on, a, on a goal kick, you can't take the ball out of the big box. I just... I guess they're just... I. We're just, we're just crooked, going with refs, it, I guess. Crooked. Crooked refs! I need to get what the shot happening? up. They only have a second left. Uh, he should have just launched it. Well, well, well. Tropics somehow just phenomenal, phenomenal start there to their first half. You had one goal probably halfway through the game, and that's probably all that you expected for Tropics to put up two immediately after in such a slow game. And, and with Savannah being such a slow offensive team, it's dire straits now for them. They need to crank it up. They need to get rid of their defensive play style, play Snarblax up a little bit, and just make things happen because at the moment, I mean, you've got quite the deficit. Three doesn't seem like a lot to some teams, you know, when you have aggressive teams like Summit and Polar that try and just go for goals. But it, with mean, a team like Savannah, Savannah it's quite Savannah, a lot. Yeah, they, they really need to take advantage of every single minute of this next half. They don't. You know, they're going to need to take defensive opportunities and really push the ball upfield as hard as they can because the half-court offense has been a little bit stalled. They had some good opportunities, but they just couldn't get the final pass into no zero. And we have some we have some uh, uh, controversy on the field with Penley using the gloves out of box. But they, it's, he, didn't what? Ex- he didn't exactly use them out of the box. He already had the ball in his hands. Yeah, and right. he just put them into his, put him onto the feet. I think you're still supposed to kick it though, if it's a. Yeah, I, I have no idea to be uh, honest. I, that's what I would assume though. The the problem with him having it in his hands is that you, you can't steal the ball from right. the GK in that situation. Right. Now, so really, it probably should have been a a free kick for Savannah, but can't do anything about that now. Big pass into Cheese Master. He's deep in the box, putting the pressure on already. Big thing here, Cairo. Uh, 
So you can see No Zero has been put on the bench. Fire Ooh. Demon and Sable are now out. That is interesting. So No Zero, you know, he he's basically been a consistent player at all times. Louis there. That... Giving us all a heart attack and then once again reminding him why he is the greatest of all time. Yeah, I don't if I was Savannah, I don't know if I would have taken No Zero out. It's not he hasn't really been playing bad. He's been playing no, great defense, but those zero has been receiving passes very well, and I think that's what they need because Fire Demon. Ha I, I don't want to point out personal mistakes. Fire Demon just has been having a hard time receiving those passes that Tumbleweed tries to put out. Tumbleweed goes for some complicated things sometimes, and Nose Zero is a little bit more well understood to those complicated passes. As for Fire Demon, though, he has a little bit more learning to do. So it is definitely an interesting uh, strategy to bring out here, and it might just work. We'll have to wait and see. As again, Savannah really needs to ramp up their aggression. Maybe Sable's the answer. Uh, for some reason, Egg is sitting behind the the ball dispenser on the Tropic side. I definitely don't think he's supposed to. And thankfully, the refs have rectified that situation. I don't know what's happening. Mishi's out. Wait, where's Mishi? Oh, Mishi is out. Mishi is out. There he is. The it's Mishi minutes officially. They have started. <laughs> Count, count your clock, babies. Put on, put on your timers. It's Mishi hour. It's Mishi o'clock. Glad, to, has glad to be seeing the purple bandit looking very, very swag in that pur purple jersey. It fits him perfectly in that Waluigi hat. Big receive there by Mishi as well. <laughs> it happens. I'm kidding. Now, Man. an interesting, an interesting thing to note here is now you have Dumat up in midfield. Is my assumption as Jeetler receives a pass. Starblacks there, almost having a little bit of trouble. But again, I want to go back to the Savannah lineup. You have Sable and Fire Demon running it up the field. Is Tumble going to be able to trust these two with receiving passes? Sable now up. Mishi, however, does clamp it to substitute fighting, but it's oh, right back there. Minutes. Fire Demon needs to take this one. He does, oh. and he shoots. And all of my criticisms have been nullified as Fire Demon gets his first goal of the cup, and it's an all so important one as Savannah as well put in their first goal. I think this entire yeah, it's the first time playing. So yeah. Savannah, first yeah. goal. Big, big shot there. And that was just an unfortunate opportunity given away by Mishi. Just didn't quite get it out of his hands fast enough, and it stole got stolen right out of his hands, right to Tumbleweed. So Cheese Master looking to Oh my goodness, that was a very wow. dangerous, that was a very close opportunity. Matt, just a little bit too far behind Louie, though, and gave him the opportunity to snatch it. Tumbleweed is up there, Fire Demon, looking oh. for a clear, wow! Cheese Master, with a truck-sized hitbox, passes over to Jeetler. Fire Demon and Snarblax, however, playing excellent defense there, will wall off the shot like Fortnite. And Jeetler does not get a shot in. It was very close, though. Snarb just at the right distance, though, to make it hard for Cheat Lord. He really had to snake it past, and it might not have even been possible to snake it past Snarblax. He had to have a really sharp angle. Dumb Matt playing good defense once again, and it's a very Cheat Lord and Cheese heavy deep, uh, offense at this time. Oh, unfortunate. Messed up the pass. Tumbleweed now has a chance here to potentially put Savannah at 3 2. Mishi cannot steal at the moment, but it is. Well defended there by both players, Mishi and Dumb Matt. Both experience with defense, obviously. Uh, different times, though, as Matt has definitely played a little bit more. Penley taking a sweet time. Mishi! Mishi! Mishi, wake up! Mishi, what is he doing? Mishi! Please! Where's the ball? Right. That is the ball. Okay, okay what's that, happening? That was, I think he might have lagged there. Tumbleweed now looking for a cross. Sable has it. Sable has it. Fire Demon's over to the left. He could potentially get a second goal here, but Dumb Matt does cover for it. Cheesemaster as well. Sable retrieves. No options, though. Very limited. Tumbleweed looking to be the one to get that one, but Cheesemaster's instead in the way. Savannah keeping up their pressure, however. Snarblax looking for anything he possibly can. He's got four players behind him as well as up. Sable potentially could get this one to Fire Demon if they drive it properly. Stolen, however, from G Lord. Cheesemaster does recover. Savannah continuing on this pressure. However, it doesn't seem like it will work. Dumb Matt, very good at clearing here. Will clear. Oh, for some reason, Starblax is just talking, and he just gives Tropic the opportunity to get the ball into the big box. Big pass through, and Chase has it. Oh, but Fire Demon, great, uh, great job keeping that opportunity from going away. Tumbleweed now is Sable open though. Sable's in a one versus one at the moment. As if if, they, if he ah if he can drive it <laughs> down, but Tumble cannot. 
receiving pump. <laughs> yeah, really? These long passes have not been working out for Savannah at all. Big shot up from Cheese trying to get it so fast to dumb Matt. That was a heater of a pass. Yeah, it was a good try. It was a bit it was a bit antsy, and I, I do think that you're right about those long passes. On the side of Tropic, successful enough, but on the side of Savannah, I mean, they got to group up and make something happen. However, could eat my own words here as Fire Demon receives a pass here. Two people in the box on the side of Savannah, as well as three on the side of Tropics. Now, four. Cheese Master claims. Starbox should be there. You can't oh. let him can't let him get those. He's going to snag those pass away if you don't uh, get them. And G Lord, wide open, but Fire Demon, a super clutch steal. Just making them slow enough. Wow, Jeet Lord still managed to sneak that ball through, but Louie on top of it and getting that low corner shot. Traditionally the hardest shots for goalkeepers to stop, but Louie anticipated it. Yeah, good read there from Louie. As now Savannah, the rest of Savannah are also going to have to read into this one very well. Tumbleweed receives that pass there, but he's got three players. Look at this wall of a defense that Tropics have set up there. Tumbleweed, however, still has it recovered. Penley snags it out of the air. Still three to one, and the clock is running at the moment. Four minutes have surpassed, and nothing in lieu of a goal here, or even close to that from Savannah. No shot in net. And I, I would like to say that Tumbleweed, trying to claim that earlier that uh, Penley was stalling in goal. However, you are the one who was trying to block him from getting the ball out. So <laughs> whose fault is it really? <laughs> Kyra's calling you out, Tumble. I, I don't. I don't know about. I don't know about take. If I were well, you, I wouldn't not, take this. I it's take not. This it's not just Tumble. It's a very common <laughs> thing that that teams do. They they're trying to get the easy Ooh. goal off of the the goalkeeper, but at the same time, you're preventing them from passing the ball out, thus wasting time. Sable's open right now, and Fire Demon is right into that. No Sable. Rotate into that. Mishi versus Sable battle the subs oh. right now. Mishi does claim it, however, and gets it over to Cheese Master. Important passes made. However, Tumbleweed and Sable both trying to make an attempt at snagging that ball. Dumb Matt over to Jeet Lore. Snarblax as well has that positioning. Mm, well, I think I think Jeet Lore could have had that ball. He just uh, overestimated a little bit how far forward he needed to be. For sure. It's, it's hard, though. It's not easy uh, anticipating where these long passes are going to land. Yeah, this has really only been a game of long passes as well here. Speaking of, short pass over towards Tumbleweed is snagged out of the air. Unfortunately, Savannah not having a lot of awareness on the positioning. The lore. He's got a lot of space. Can Snarblast. he get past Snarb? He gets past Snarb, but Sable on that help defense. Not able to stop the possession yet. Oh, Jeetlor looking for the pass up to the key. But Cheesemaster, he got it. This He's got risky. it again. This is risky. This is risky. Oh. oh. Okay. Well, this isn't a goal. That, that at the was same scary. time, at the same time, it's just the fact that how close this is going, and also what the, the timer's messed up. Oh, it's uh, we're current currently at five oh. minutes and ninety two seconds. I don't think that's how it works. There we go. I think it's fixed okay. Now. Okay. And now, now it's 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 fixed. I believe. <laughs> uh. The the timer we're is break, being we're a breaking we're breaking funky we're breaking dimensions here at BCS. Time yep. is only a construct. Cheese Master grabs the ball. The game is so good; it just wants it to keep going on forever. Yeah, well, Savannah definitely don't as they are playing very very sloppy on that attack so far. Have not been able to drive any passes up, and I, I don't even want to say Savannah are playing sloppy. Cheese Master has been playing out of his mind. Computer Master fifty five cannot put that one in, but. He Tropics is have been PC. playing a they have yeah he Tropics have been playing a stellar defense at the same time as well as driving home as many attacks as they possibly can. But regardless, Savannah have also just not been able to get those passes received. Look at them; they're just stalling and they're grabbing for crumbs at this point. Two goals need to be scored, and while we saw Tropics do it in like the less less than a minute in between each. Is it going to be as easy for a passive team like Savannah? Jeetlor up, placing his, himself against Snarblax, looking for a potential pass, but Snarblax is there to claim S Sable. Now going to run up here, potentially to receive a pass from Snarblax. And but at the same time, this clock is slowly starting to close the book on Savannah. They're going to have to work very, very quickly. Yeah, it's, it's definitely not impossible. It's not the hardest comeback of all time, nearly, but they just need to get these good opportunities haven't really gotten any shots on goal for so many minutes. Oh, big 
pass maybe from Snarb? Looking for Tumble? But Tropics, they're just suffocating defense already back and set up. Shot oh, we need... right at a defender as well. As well we... as... I... So. We need a little bit more, uh, you know, maybe offensive play from Sable opening up that four-man offense. And it looks like we're going to get it. Tumbleweed is inside the box as well. Potentially could receive a pass. However, Dumbmat has been stellar on this defense so far. Slash midfield play, but Tumbleweed trying to get that. That could have been an opportunity, but it's cleared. Those clears are so, so, so important. Jeetler immediately going to rotate back here and testing. You have Fire Demon and Tumbleweed up, and Tumbleweed's going to receive that pass. A very good chance here for Savannah to potentially score, but Jeetler makes it there in time. Four defenders once again present on the side of Tropic. God, and it's just you, you take that one second longer than you think uh, you think you have the time, and Jeetler just getting back so fast and just ending that possession for Savannah. They had the two-on-two opportunity. Oh, and, no. Oh, and Jeetlor, he's looking pretty wide open, but it's a little bit of a bad angle, and he misses dumb Matt. Try to look for a shot as well above Louie, but does have, not go through. That would have been very, very dangerous. It, I mean, Jeetlor, if hit the pass to him was a little more close to the middle, oh, my goodness, and a little bit of toxicity. Wow. Cheesemaster, with bag still on head, has dunked on Fire Demon. Now Tumbleweed looking to dunk on Tropics as he's got two players covering him. Going to have to look for a potential pass. Looking for the shot, though. Mishi underestimated Tumbleweed. Still has it. <sighs> you need to shoot that tumble. No. Why didn't he shoot it? It, it's, it was it's that, insane. It's that extra second. We're calling, it the, we're calling it the Savannah second at this point in time because every single time Savannah make a play, they always think about it for an extra second there, but Snarblack's oh. not thinking too well. His cheese master inside the box. He snags it, tries to go for something, but Snarb recovers from his mistakes, clears it up to Tumbleweed as well. It's a one-on-one. -on -one. The cherry picking, uh -oh. it's been very potent so far but this Mishi. cup, but that steal, Mishi, look at him go. Why is he on the bench? Get him back on the field. A beautiful Mishi play. Mishi minutes. Warming up right now is Mishi. Sable's open as well. Fire Demon does not receive that pass. And Savannah, it's desperation for them at the moment. Mishi is locking up Savannah at this point. That was a crucial, crucial steal. It didn't look like much because Tumble got the ball right back, but that just completely removed the 1v1 situation that Savannah needed. Oh, and that's crucial. You have Cheesemaster open, but that's a good steal there from Tumbleweed. Both Fire Demon and Tumble up. Fire Demon receives the pass. So far, the only player on Savannah to have a goal for his team. Oh, no! Oh, that's unfortunate. Oh, it happens. It just happens. It just happens. Fire you Demon. Just can't, you can't have good. those types of mistakes at this point in the game, though. Cheesemaster, however, does receive. That's not a mistake from him. A Ooh. shot is good! Is it good? Is it in? It, that's it gonna be a pretty close. Big question mark there. Very Robert big question and mark. Bonsky calling in. And we've got a challenge. We've got a challenge oh here from Savannah. Oh boy, oh boy, Cairo. I mean, really, you, you don't have much other option than to challenge this at this point. Absolutely. I mean, you're desperate if you're Savannah. They have a goal on the back of Fire Demon, but they need three more if this goes in, if this challenge is failed. It's just a rough game. I mean, what else can you say? Tumbleweed and company having a very, very hard time finding themselves inside the net. And I really think it's due to the fact that they just take too much time. I mean, they deliberate way too often. A lot of your teams that make zippy plays just get goals in net. That's where you get high scoring games from. But Tropic or Tropics rather, you have players like Jeetlor who are very quick. They just make decisions. Fireworks have gone off on the wrong side of the field, but it is a goal on the side of Tropics. And it's 4 1. That could have just been the. Uh, and the we need butter. to add some extra time because the timer was running at this, the the entire time while the challenge was going on. So probably two minutes of extra time. Yeah, you have time here if you are Savannah, but how much do you have to get three goals? It's going to be a Christmas miracle if they can even find one at the moment. They have just been such a slow team. Very, very hard to get them you know, in the oh. right place as Penley's up. Penley He's, is up? He still has gloves on. Might want to take those off. Yeah, we might we might need a little bit of admin help right now to glove dumb Matt going into the goalie position. This is a very interesting set of subs from Tropic. Two minutes is not an insignificant amount of time, but if they can keep possession, then it really won't matter that much. 
G lore as well. Just driving the point home that you just made, you know, keeping the possession up. Penley, not used to receiving those passes, will not be able to. However, he's up looking for a pass. But G lore and G is impressive dribbling. Does not get it though. Yeah, that's a that's a steal that will instantly end your possession. Tumbleweed and Fire Demon are both up position for some sort of triangulated attack, but oh. the man she also back Tumbleweed. No, no. Tumbleweed. In that and now at this point, it's Tumbleweed the one who's missing the pass. God, Very you unfortunate. Just, you just hate to see it. You just really, really do. And Tumbleweed calling for another extra minute after the 15 seconds it took for uh, the sub situation to be found out. No way! Oh my goodness. Wallmaster 55 saves the ball here and uh, possibly just ends the game for Savannah as they've only got one minute now to work with. No extra time granted except for the current two minutes that are on your screen. No zero trying to claim something here. However, Mishi steals its corner kick, but again, it's wasted time. Cairo, three goals is what you need in the span of 20 seconds. It seems impossible, and it might just be that as Cheesemaster, all he has to do is clear. Yeah, you really got to ask for a miracle here, and Tropic can definitely take their time with this possession and just completely ice the game. Penley, big dribble skills. He got the, the jump over, but stolen once again, and Savannah will take this ball out. And Snarb, he's doing what he's got to do. They're really going for goal difference at this point. <laughs> but dumb Matt, what is he doing? <laughs> he's crazy. What a, what a, what a, what an animal. Gee, Lord. Now in a one versus one with Snarblax. Trying to look for a shot. Maybe a 5-1 coming up. Oh, it damn. is. What a shot there from Gee, Lord. The most, cons one of the most consistent strikers you could ever ask for on your team. It's a heartbreaking scoreline here. It's a heartbreaking debut for Savannah. Just could not get themselves going on their offense, and it's going to well, it's going to show. It's a 5-1 start there. Tropics get their first victory. And Savannah. I, I gotta their... say, I gotta say, I'm feeling tropical at this point. Finally. I've been we've been looking for this tropic comeback, and they make it happen against the Savannah debut. An absolutely stellar performance from both teams. But Savannah just not able to get it done on the offensive side. And that's what made them lose in this game. Yeah, definitely want to highlight the defensive prowess on the side of Savannah. They've been able to rotate back pretty effectively, I would say, uh, kind of towards the later half whenever, you know, mentals are starting to get chalked and the game is starting to dry up a little bit less of that. But at the same time, you know, I mean, you also want to have more of offense whenever you're down. So it does not work out in the end there for Savannah. They still have another chance to recover and potentially not get the Tropic start, which is an 0-2 on your first day. But... Who knows? As Savannah, so far looking very, very weak, losing to the team with the most losses, but it happens. It's a debut yeah. game for a reason. You, you iron out your mistakes and you move on. They, they have a chance to bring it back here. Summit, who put up a pretty okay uh, showing against Polar. 9-6, you might not think that it was such a strong performance from Summit from just that stat line, but they, they show that they can get it done on the offensive side. So Savannah will have to keep up their defensive prowess and get the goals in on the side of Summit, which with them giving away nine goals to Polar, it's very possible. Yeah, everything's possible, but <clears throat> we'll have to wait and see. Is we're gonna wait for the players on the side of Summit to get online. Another team that got handed a loss at their debut, will they be able to recover as well? We're going to get a team that will get their first victory today, so that's pretty, pretty cool. But will it be Savannah or will it be Summit? We'll be right back very, very shortly with game number two. 